The old ways of doing business don't cut it anymore. If telcos are going to be competitive in today's market, they've got a bit of work to do. Hi, I'm Will Gibson, VP of Marketing and Amplifier here at Maplewave. In today's video, I'll go over some steps that will help telcos win their markets in the next five years. You heard this before and I'll say it again. Customer experience is the most effective way to separate yourself from your competition. Here are the key areas to focus on if you want to win the customer battle. First, how many times has a customer needed help with their device, but the one person who knows the answer isn't there? The best telcos have a fully realized in-store Google program. This could be a live body or someone over FaceTime or Skype. This method guarantees customers receive help and it gives your staff a great career path to work towards. Second, when was the last time you modeled your store to make it more visually appealing? Get rid of those dummy devices. The more interactive your display is, the more apps and games you provide for people to try, the more sales opportunities you will create. It's simple. Third, now who wants to wait in line to pay a bill? Nobody. A self-service program lets customers help themselves for those fast, easy transactions. You could even connect them to a call center for more complicated issues. Fourth, educate, educate, educate. Show your customers all the wonderful things the tech you're selling can do. Show them the potential of the Internet of Things and how it will enhance their lives. Fifth, your customers will have technical issues. If you can't fix it, you've got to ship it away for repair or the customer goes somewhere else to fix it. Get rid of that awful experience by putting a managed repair service inside your store. Openly fix devices from elsewhere and you'll win even more. You could have your repair staff wear white lab coats to differentiate themselves from your sales staff. This is a growing trend globally. It cuts your logistics time and you can monetize it. So once you've invested and implemented these ideas into your business, you will also need to change how you measure success. This means modifying your KPIs to be customer focused and find new ways of rewarding staff. It's not always about the sale. Which of these ideas will work for you? and which might increase your return on investment. All good decisions you should be having with your wider management teams. In my next video, I'll review some examples of digital-only retail environments that are radically changing the in-store experience. There's lots of changes to be made. If you want to chat about any of these, you can find me on LinkedIn. I'll see you next time.